Peace, family. Peace meaning positive energy always creates elevation. So with that being said, man, I got an interesting video for you guys today. It's going to be coming from the guy, Young Pharaoh, man. And he's basically going to be discussing the Masonic truth about police brutality riots and the New World Order agenda, okay? And I feel like he really did touch on some um some real good things, man. So we're going to see what, what Facebook decides to do for me now, man. If they're going to push it to the algorithm or if they just going to Continue to try to continue to try to shadow ban me, all right? And so with that being said, if I have you here, I want you guys to go ahead, please like and share this video, man, so that it can reach others, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. And, you know, when you look into this world we live in today, when, when, when we look at the segregational area and we look at the laws, right? See, they blame the South on being racist, but that's strategical. And the reason I bring that up is because the laws was created by the Democratic Party. And the reason that I'm the reason that I'm, I'm I'm honing in on a Democrat is because this this shadow government, this deep state government, is the Democratic Party, and uh, a lot of people don't know that the Republican Party was created by blacks. It wasn't created by whites. So you know the first one hundred something b Republican politicians were black, and what happened was the Democratic Party was being challenged politically in this country from you know doing their carrying out their Masonic agenda. You know what I'm saying? And so what they did was they created the Ku Klux Klan, and they've already confirmed under oath that the Ku Klux Klan is not only a Christian organization, it's a democratically created organization. And the reason that, that this is important is because the, the Democrats did not only have the Ku Klux Klan lynch black business owners to kill the competition economically, they had them lynch black political figures to kill the competition politically. And so... This is how blacks started voting Democrats because the, the Democratic Party basically used the KKK as a mob to intimidate blacks and black political figures to only vote for demographic, I mean, uh, excuse me, Democratic legislative viewpoints and policies. And so this is how black people became Democrats and this is how Republicans became solely white. And then what Democrats did to cover their evil tracks was in the history books and in the media, they paint the picture of the Republicans of being a party that actually is what they are. And with that being said, the, the <coughs> Freemasons, I mean, uh, yeah, the Freemasons implemented the Ku Klux Klan into the lodge. And so this is why, you know, Ku Klux Klan members, they go by degrees. The leader of the Klan is called the Grand Wizard because the Ku Klux Klan is a Freemasonic organization. And the original unit. I could believe that. And to be honest with you, that's, that's probably uh, explains the reason why to this very day, the Ku Klux Klan is still um, operating. And they're still, they're, I want to say at this point, a legal operation. They're not, you know, any, there's nothing illegal about them except they don't get out. You know, the only difference right now is that they don't get out and march the way that they used to. Okay. But um, they still, they had in plain sight. They had in plain sight. Like he's going to speak on how they actually infiltrated the police. Um, you know, departments and things like that. And I believe a lot of that, you know, but when you look back and you see what's going on with, with people like uh, the Black Panthers and things like that who or groups like or organizations like that who are no longer here and were infiltrated and took down immediately, it makes you wonder, why is it that the Ku Klux Klan is still here and operating to this day and they have not yet been infiltrated to the point of where they no, no longer exist and members of their organization was placed in jail. Form of the Ku Klux Klan was a red and white uniform that I've showed in other lectures with a crescent moon and a star. That's the symbol of Islam. Islam is the symbol of the Eastern sect of Freemasonry, but Islam, in the, I mean, the crescent moon and the star is also the symbol that we see above Baphomet's left hand and the five point star, which is the pentagram when it's upside down, which is the symbol of Satan on his head. So the, uh, the symbol of Islam actually is a Freemasonic symbol. And then what the Ku Klux Klan did was they gave that symbol to black Islamic Masonic figures that they used to penetrate the black community, such as the Nation of Islam and the Moor Science Temple and all these other entities. And then they adopted the Knights Templar cross that they got from Albert Pike, who Albert Pike was a 33rd degree Freemason and who he was a part of the uh, Knights of Templar. And so this is how the Ku Klux Klan, you know, came to even look how they look today, let alone what they were created for. And so this brings us to where we are today. When the Ku Klux Klan successfully um, destroyed black businesses and black political figures, 
What they then went on to do was to join law enforcement, okay? And uh, law enforcement, aka the police, aka policy enforcers, police officers or police law enforcement, uh, they enforced the policies of majority, you know, they, they must, they, excuse me, they enforce policies that are majority created by, I'm that, I mean, that are created in the majority by Democrats in the Democratic Party. And this is why people say that police is the KKK because they really are. And with the, uh, the reason that it's important to know that law enforcement uh, is, is a part of white supremacist groups to which the FBI even confirmed law enforcement, they say it has been infiltrated by uh, white supremacist groups, but really they join willingly and knowingly because what the Democratic Party does is to keep the black community from waking up and to keep the world distracted from their political crimes such as pedophilia, you know, uh, satanic <coughs> cult rituals, child sacrifice and cannibalism and all the things that they do. What they do is they have these Ku Klux Klan based, aka Freemasonic agents who are half law enforcement, half white supremacists, go and commit crimes on blacks or non whites. And then after they have them commit the crime, they protect them in the judicial system. Meanwhile, they highlight the crime on the media in order to inflate, uh, or excuse me, inflammate racial tension and inflate violence in the country like we see here. And what do we see? And, and this right here explains a lot, right? It explains why so many of these officers are able to get away with the crimes that they commit. Okay. And this is because they're partaking in two organizations to be exact. One of those organizations being the, the KKK and the other organization being uh, the, uh, the Masonic groups. Okay. Because we already know when it comes to these police departments to begin with, a lot of these uh, police departments are a part of, a fraternal order, okay? So when it comes to me, man, I'm not going to lie. I just don't trust no police officer. And that's just not to say that, you know, every... That's not to say that every officer is a part of the KKK because obviously there is some black ones. But I do just feel like when it all boils down to it, even if they're not black, they all decided to take an oath, okay? Being a part of that fraternal order, man. And when it comes to, stand, when it comes to standing up for something that's righteous, I don't believe that they're going to stand up with uh, for something that's righteous over the brotherhood that they uh, aligned themselves with. We see here, uh, everything I just broke down, what did we just see? We just seen it happen. Anthony Weiner got caught sexting kids, Hillary Clinton and all kind of other po political figures, uh, Podesta, all these people got caught in these email scandals, you know, pedophile scandals through WikiLeaks. And we're starting to see the deep state for who they really are. We're starting to see George Soros for who he really is, you know, paying agents to... Uh, influence these riots and things like that but what did we see we seen that the police set the city of minneapolis on fire not the people it was blamed on the people so these police killed the black man the media blew it up black people came outside along with white people to peacefully protest and then the police sneakily set the city on fire i was saying that y'all I've, I've been said that i've been said that now what he's talking about too i mean what he was referring to is the george floyd situation I said that a long time ago, man. You have to understand that there's paid agents that are that infiltrated a peaceful protest because they wanted to basically end the protest. They wanted to cause a riot, but at the same time, they wanted to end the po protest. I mean, well, you know, the riot was going to ultimately be the reason for the protest ending because they're saying that they can't come out here and protest peacefully. So they're the ones who actually got out and burned down stores, man. You don't know. Come on, let's be... Now, when we talk about the KKK, you have to understand that, bro, this is something that they're famous for, okay? They're famous for burning things, okay? We've seen this. History tells that when they would bring, the, the they would drag a man out of his home, hang him on a burning cross or burn a cross, and then they would burn down the house. So that's their MO. So it all makes sense. And what they're doing is they're trying to influence everybody to riot and to act uncivilized so that way they can have an excuse to usher in martial law. So, you know, life is a game of chess. The police are the pawns. The FBI are the knights. The military is the castles. The mainstream media are the bishops and the deep state, the Illuminati, Bill Gates, uh, these royal families, all of these international global syndicates are the kings and the queens, a.k.a. the Freemasons. And so, you know, the reason I'm giving y'all the history lesson is so that y'all can see where we are today in this country is not because of police brutality. It's because police brutality and racism it has been weaponized in the form of psychological warfare to influence the American public to react exactly the way the deep state wants us to react so that they can enact martial law. 
And this is why Obama signed the NDAA so that we can be recognized as terrorists by the military and things like that. So when they bring the military in. And you know what kills me about that? So many people, they swore up and down Obama was for the people, man. They couldn't see through him, man, because they were just so caught up on him being the first black president. But see, they failed to realize, bro, that he is a part of it all, okay? They weren't going to let him get inside of this office without him partaking in the folly? Did you think that? Why would you Why would you think that? It doesn't make sense. Obama care is the main reason why the guns are being taken away now. This was embedded in Obamacare a long time ago while he was in office. It's just that people did not take the time to read it, okay? They didn't take the time to read it. When it was other people who was doing exactly what I'm doing, stepping in front of the camera and putting it out there, they tried to warn you and you overlooked it. All you could see was Obama was the black, the first black president, and that's all you wanted to, to know. I mean, that's all you cared about. He could do no wrong. They can detain people indefinitely, round us up into these FEMA camps, forcefully vaccinate people. We know the vaccination is going to depopulate the planet and they can try to take over the world. And so right now we're, we are literally in the end game of, of our lives and everything that we thought to be conspiracy theory, I have proven to be actually true. I have literally caught the Illuminati. I have literally found the Illuminati, literally. And we have a chance to stop them, but it's going to take for everybody to actually wake up and redirect you know, our, our disposition on this matter. And, and if you look at everybody, you know, it, the riots didn't have to go this far. So even for people say, you know, we rioted because we're mad. Why you didn't just burn the police precinct down and go home? I'm not saying people should burn precincts, but why you didn't go home after that? Why are you destroying random shit? Why are you destroying your own shit? Why are you destroying, you know, property that's owned by business owners who are not going to be able to bounce back? They insurance. I don't believe that they was actually destroying their stuff, right? What I do believe is, is that, yes, I believe that it was a few people that got caught up in it because we know we have ignorant people, okay, who wait for things like that to happen so that they could benefit from it, okay? But I do believe it was initially done by the pay agent that was placed in the protesting group, okay? And then once they started to do it, you know, monkey see, monkey do. Everybody started to go along with it, you know what I'm saying? Because they felt like it was a way for them to come up not going to be able to pay for that. They're not going to be able to ever, you know, uh, return to the lifestyle that they lost for something that they had nothing to do with. So everybody's, you know, using guilt. I mean, using the, 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 the actions of the guilty as an excuse for their actions, but nobody's taking into consideration. What about the innocent people, black, white, and everybody that has nothing to do with that? What about the mom and pop stores that's been burnt down and destroyed? And so what people got to realize is, you know, this is foolishness. And I'm not saying that we should never hold ourselves down as a country, but that's not what we're doing. Because if that's what we were doing, it would be millions of people at Bill Gates' house right now. It would be millions of people at Hillary Clinton's house right now. It would be millions of people to demand the FBI to arrest all of these crooked politicians. It would be millions of people demanding that the contents of Anthony Weiner's laptop be released, you know, publicly. It would be millions of people demanding that the Freedom of Information Law agencies no longer be suspended due to this fake COVID-19 virus. It would be millions of people... But let's just ask a question. If we do demand that those, uh, the contents of his of his of his laptop be released, are they going to give us it, you know, as it is, or are they going to mess with that so that they can give out the information that they want? Because when you talk about the big name that was involved in PizzaGate, okay, then you know that it's a it's a lot to lose. So I feel like, you know, when we talk about these fraternal orders and things like that, man, you have to understand that they're going to protect the, uh, each other right or wrong, okay? And that's because it's so many people that's going to be involved in it. It's so, including the judge. I tell you this all the time, bro. When we talk about um, living in the matrix, bro, you have to understand that everybody is involved in it and everybody that's a part of that judicial system has taken the oath, okay? And that oath is not ultimately to protect you. You just think it is. In New York, demanding the resignation of Governor, Governor Cuomo and his brother, uh, Chris Cuomo, stepping down from their positions for being deep state members who are not only trying to partner with Bill Gates, but being aided and abetted by Hillary Clinton. So none of the key things that need to be done are actually being done, which is proof that people are not outside rioting intellectually because they know what's going on. People are outside rioting foolishly and in, 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 in an undisciplined manner, which is allowing them to be influenced by government uh, placed agents because they don't know what's going on. And so, you know, my advice is for people to not only understand the past, 
uh, because it'll show us the present, but to understand the past and the present so that we can know our future. And so right now, I'm going to just let y'all know. If y'all continue to riot and continue to act crazy in this country, the military is going to come in here. And I don't want y'all to think that it's going to be sweet. Just like the police have been infiltrated by members of the Freemasonic uh, organizations, the military damn sure has. Uh, these people locked up General Flynn, a three-star military general, on fake charges and a fake story. So I want you to understand, man, that martial law is coming either way we like it. Okay, whether we like it or not, martial law will be here. Why is that? Martial law is going to come because we know what's going on with the whole pandemic situation, okay? We know what's taking place with that. We know that it's a lot of people that's not willing to go out and get what they tell us is necessary in order to live in society, okay? And so because of that, we're going to have an outrage of people, okay, who's going to be willing to die behind it, okay? And with that being said, you know, they're going to have to bring the military in. They're going to start pushing people into these concentration camps, camps and unfortunately, we're going to watch a lot of people transition behind it. You don't think that these people got a couple military generals and a couple military soldiers in their pocket or if they can't send out a couple military, you know, uh, agents and have them start innocently shooting people or innocently throwing grenades and really killing and murdering the population that will really spark us and influence us to fight back. You better think again. So even if the military does intend on coming peacefully and, you know, stopping the country. What you know, that's not going to stop somebody like George Soros to pay a group of people to go out there that looks like a, a militia and actually murder people with M16s and actually murder people with, with military grade weapons and actually incite a riot and make us think that we got to fight back for something that we shouldn't even be outside anyway, you know, doing because we know the key players. All we got to do is go get the key players and the game is over. And so I want people to let everything I'm saying, you know, sink into their minds very deeply because we at a point right now. In history where we, where we can either save ourselves or destroy ourselves. And the decision is ultimately in our hand because these people practice the occult. And what I want you all to know about the occult is the trick is to get you to use your own free will to sacrifice yourself. And that's what everybody is doing. They're using blind ignorance and misguided anger to create civil unrest so that the military can be deployed. Once the military is de deployed, FEMA can be deployed. And these agent provocateurs that have invaded every level of this government from local state federal police all the way up to the military can then become activated and cause even more mischief and chaos uh, amongst the people to further the agenda of the elites. And so that being said, these Freemasons who are indeed Luciferians, because the God of Freemasonry is Lucifer, these Satanists, these, these Kabbalists, they believe that from chaos comes order. And right now we're seeing them stirring up a lot of chaos. And if we don't create the order ourselves, then they're going to bring in the new world order from the chaos that they wish to create, which is a, 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 a militia controlled government, uh, artificially intelligent policed uh, country, utilize, I mean, underneath the utilization of 5G technology. And everybody will become not only physical prisoners, but uh, conscious and, art and artificial, uh, I mean, excuse me, conscious prisoners, spiritual prisoners, and prisoners of artificial intelligence. So, you know, my advice to everybody would be. To just sit the fuck down for one second and actually think about what you're doing and why you're doing it. And if you still feel upset, I agree with you. But the anger needs to be redirected in a healthy manner towards the people that are actually guilty. Stop, stop being out here destroying random shit and tearing up random shit when all you need to do is demand the arrest of specific old players. I mean, excuse me, specific players and players in this party of this New World Order agenda and we can end it all. And so we don't have to go the way that we're going. We're choosing to go the way that we're going because emotions have superseded a lot of people's intelligence and it's time for intelligence to supersede people's emotions once again. So discipline and wisdom and, and courage and fearlessness is what's going to guide us, not not uh, ignorant anger and uh, just unknowingness. Right now, we're just unknowing and angry and we, be, we need to become knowing and angry. Angry is not I mean, anger is not bad, but the lack of intelligence is what is what causes us to lack the proper disciplines to control our anger properly and use our anger properly. And so that being said, anger is like a gun. It don't, it, don't, it don't kill people. People kill people. Anger don't kill people. Unintelligent, unwise, angry people, uh, you know, kill people or, or act out savagely. So it's time for people to get wise. It's time for people to get intelligent. And it's time for people to get informed. And it's time for people to redirect that uh, anger towards the actual parties that are guilty. And so I'm not saying, you know, go commit a crime or no shit like that. Let me get my disclaimer. But what I am saying is if you're going to come outside, 
by the thousands, we should be outside demanding, you know, the arrest of Hillary Clinton. We should be de we should be demanding the uh, that action be taken by the FBI to arrest, you know, the deep state to arrest these treasonous figures that have infiltrated our government to arrest people like Barack Obama and all of these other people that I have proven to be deep state. I did an entire uh, playlist of videos on this YouTube channel titled The Deep State. Go watch every last one of them. I have proven every point that I've said beyond a reasonable doubt. So that being said, those are the actions that we must take. And uh, those actions that are not taken. Then, you know, what y'all going to realize is is something out here that's way more sinister, way more evil, and way more powerful than police brutality and racism could ever be. Police brutality and racism is something that has been done <coughs> purposely throughout the years by Freemasons slash Ku Klux Klan members in order to build up the racial tension in this country to exactly where it is today. And I would just want y'all to know, if y'all don't see that, then uh, people that sacrifice children for a living, people that rape children for a living, people that believe in Lucifer, are 20,000 times more dangerous and, and, and far more beyond a threat to our existence than any racist person you know. Bill Gates is 20,000 times more dangerous than the most dirtiest cop you know. And until people realize that, they're, they'll never see that. Uh, the cop is just a distraction. The, 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 the racist police are just a distraction. It's a bigger threat that hides behind them and uses them to take the blame for all of the wrongdoing in this country so that the real people who really need to be taking the blame are not even known to exist, let alone the possibility of them taking the blame can even be a possibility. That's facts, y'all. And I will say this, man, this is an older video, y'all. So, you know, I just wanted to show y'all this basically just to show y'all how all of these groups are interconnected with one another. And this is the reason why we've seen so much riot, rioting or so much, so many, so much damage uh, being done to society when it comes to the uh you know the the police department okay and um i will say this man what he said at the end was absolutely 100 percent true there are way more worse things out here that is taking place in today's society besides racism and racist cops okay believe me we talked about luciferian worshiping people and uh people who are willing to sacrifice you man this thing is it's really real bro there's no coincidence that this guy has lost his mind man Drop them nines, man, if I still have you here, man, and you missed this young Pharaoh, man, because, bro, this was the young Pharaoh, bro, that I'm talking about was able to wake up a generation of people, right, and lead them in a direction that, you know, a lot are in now. You see what I'm saying? But he is absolutely right, man. And um, we need to start waking up to the fact of what's really going on, man, so that we can all come together and get this get this thing under control, all right? So with that being said, man, if you're not following me on YouTube, man, please go over to YouTube at I Am Awaken and follow me on YouTube at I Am Awaken. Also, please do not forget to go to Instagram and follow me on Instagram at I Am Awaken underscore chosen one, man. I got a lot coming over there on Instagram. And with that being said, I just want to leave you guys as I came. I want you guys to always, always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family, peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. Ashay.